Ta-da! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Butterfly Square Garden, a place where you can be free to be yourself. I'm still not entirely convinced on that phrase, but work with what you got. As you can see down here and over here, there are two very large butterflies. They are both eastern black swallowtails. This one is definitely a female, and I think that one's a male, but we got to flip it over. So one was in a, oh, sorry, um, we have lots of different videos. This is going to be a pinning the butterfly video because I showed you the butterflies and unfortunately after a while some of them die. I didn't quite let them go free. There's ethics, there's educational, there's science. I'm going to show you how to pin a butterfly. I'm not saying go out and kill a butterfly. Do not do that. These were gifted as eggs from a dear friend and they hatched. I raised them as caterpillars and then um, which one do I want to do first? Uh-oh, this one's a little dry. Uh-oh, it's a little dry, guys. Um, I put it in a hydration chamber, but I didn't check on it. A hydration chamber was basically just a Tupperware with a wet paper towel, and it looks like it dried out, um, but I think I see water droplets on it, um, so hopefully hopefully it's still workable. So what do you need to do in order to press a butterfly? You need a mounting board. That's what this is. I'm using a paper towel to very gently dab off the water droplets that are residual from the hydration chamber which is weird because it's it feels dry but it's got water droplets on it so we're gonna give it a go I'm kind of experienced with pinning butterflies so the reason why I'm dabbing the water off is because if I pin the butterfly while it's wet the paper will stick to it and when I unmount the butterfly um, it'll peel the it'll crack and peel the wings and it'll be like oh wow all that hard work just for nothing um, checking the, the feed because the, the audio feed because uh, I had a double audio in the last video that was sad so we learned from our mistakes um, I think that's good enough so yeah I uh, I hand fed this butterfly and he died much faster than the other ones for some reason but you know what sometimes they just get sick I don't know it could be a lot of things um, so you need a mounting board which is this foam thing with a little crack in the middle and you need a butterfly and you need pins and I used to use tracing paper but I guess loose leaf paper will have to do since I ran out let's give it a go Oh, and you need paddle nose tweezers, but I guess any tweezers will do. And if you don't even have tweezers, you can just use pins. Um, this is exciting. I haven't done this in a while, guys. Some p some entomologists, some scientists will take a pin and just drive it right through the abdomen. Um, I don't like to do that because then it dries to the needle. And when I try to unpin the butterfly... It's like, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, first of all, let's move this up a little higher. <laughs> you know what? I already put it down, so pretend it's golf. Leave it where it lie. You really want to mess around with it as little as possible. So, yeah, um, if you stab it, and then it dries to the needle and you pull it off. I think it's I think they leave the needle in it and then they like put it on a mounting board on the wall or something. But um I need to take the needle out because ooh, I didn't even show you guys the examples yet. Um This is what it's going to look like when it's done. This is my first one from last year. They were caterpillars in my garden and I it's a sanctuary thing like I I have caterpillar eggs in my garden and I check up on them and they'll be there one day 
and then they'll be gone the next. And it's the same thing with caterpillars. I counted four caterpillars on my plant one day, and then I went back the next day and all of them were gone. Um, so I've, I've been better about getting the eggs off the plants, but um, it's just a lot of work, guys. So the first thing you do is you take your needles and you place the antenna. You know what? I should totally go higher as much as I like where they are. Um, once I bring the wing up, I'm not going to like that spot anymore. So I'm bringing them up a little higher. Sorry if you missed that. I'll try to be better. Um, so using the needles to guide where the antenna go. Just like that. And you want a little V. Should I put on my antennas? I've got little butterfly antennas. It's just going to interfere with my headset, though. But I like wearing them. They're fun. Okay, so now I'm a butterfly, too. After that, um, I want to pull the wings, the front two wings up. But if I do one wing without putting the other side down, it'll shift the butterfly. So I'm going to temporarily nail down this butterfly on the right side. And then I put one here and then one down here. Um, this is not going to be perfect, guys. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> Let's see how we go. So, taking my paddle nose tweezers, I'm um, going to take my paper and maybe hold it down a little bit. And you grab it very gently and you pull it, pull it, pull it up. Oh, goodness. Keep going very gently just inch it. You're very, very gently bringing it up. And then once you've got a good spot, you nail it down. Just like so, I'm gonna temporarily nail down Jeez, I know this is probably stupid, but let's see how this works out if I do it like this. If you do the top and the bottom on one side, and then you do the top and the bottom on the other side, most likely it won't match. So you have to do the top left, top right, or top right, top left. So, um, moving on. Is it going to shift all over the place? That's the question. Oh, goodness. It really is. I'm going to do this. I'll take two little needles, place it on either side of the head this time, so that hopefully it won't dance around. And we want to really just inch it up. Inch, 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 real gentle, real gentle, like. Trying not to touch it too much, especially with my fingers. Oh, goodness. There, that's where it should go. The other side needs to be higher, I can already tell. Um, but it's good, because this is how it goes. Okay, I'm probably going to have to, uh, I don't know if I need to nail that down. We'll see. Um, like I said, this needs to come up higher now because, oh goodness, I can see it's needed to be let down a little bit in that spot. So I think what I'm trying to say is I want the bottom part of the wing to be like parallel or perpendicular to the body of it. Oop, there we go, that's perfect. Once you got it mostly in place, it's not that hard. 
to do little adjustments. And if you've got extra needles, like, go heavy on the needles. You, there's no reason not to. Right? I mean, I don't know. And then from here, what we want is... Um, see, I didn't do this right. I didn't pull them up high enough. But maybe if I can show you with my Monarch, um, there's a little V in between the top and the bottom wing. Um, in the space, that's what we're looking for. And then just to show some more, this is my female from last year. So uh, let's see if we can do a better job than last year. The hydration chamber worked. I technically um, could have pinned it right after it died, but I was lazy. So I needed to keep it um, from drying out. So okay you gotta get some crazy angles to do some of this stuff do, 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 do. Oop, that's it right there perfect so oh, I almost I almost damaged it I do wish I had tracing paper but that's okay So I think this one is really good because it's got all the, oops, careful there, Jason. It's even got the little scent flaps, which I'm happy about because um, this guy's was broken off. This guy was taken better care of. So um, maybe I don't even have to move this paper. Maybe I can just... Um, how do I want to do this? Do, 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 do. Sorry, my fingers are in the way, everybody. This is a terrible video. And right, oop. There. Oh, goodness gracious. It's like impossible to tell if it's all lined up now. That looks that looks pretty good, right? I mean, oh Jesus. It's really hard to tell cuz I covered it up with the paper, but I think I think that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to do another paper going across um, just to nail it all down. I'll move on to the next butterfly now. Okay, not bad. Oh, goodness, is that okay, everybody? I don't know. I think this one slid down a little bit. I think that's bothering me. Bam. So, tracing paper would be better, but I was antsy. I just really wanted to do it. So, I ran out of little paper thingies. I'm going to cut some more. And I know that this isn't going to be the most interesting video, so uh, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> it's just like, you know, how often do you see people do stuff like this? There isn't much information out there. Oh, wow, I really think I screwed that up. Oh, well. Lesson learned. I'll give her the other one if this one comes out bad. Hmm. Uh, 
I probably should have left it alone. Oh well. It just looks like it's flying. Maybe we can do the next one a little faster. So this little baby just died today. So sad. Oop, and he's got a little leg. The leg's in the way. So I think we started. Let's do the head first. <gasps> oh, goodness. And then behind that. So far, so good. Oops. Was that really a good decision? <laughs> Now we'll do the antenna on the left, the antenna on the right. I'm probably cover. Oh goodness, I'm not. You're not getting a good view of anything I'm doing. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna kinda. How do I want to do this? It's like way up there this time. I was like, sorry, little lady, you're just going to have to be pressed down a little bit for a second. Yeah, the second one's actually, oops, much easier to do. So I pinned down one side. I think the way that I used to do this was now that this side's pinned down. Um, I can kind of, oops, now the top butterfly is in the way of the bottom butterfly. Jeez. You come on in and, oops, 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 inch, 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 inch. Till it's in a spot that you like. I thought that was a good enough spot. And the bottom wing is pretty much in place. Like I feel like I don't even have to do much for that. Um, I'm going to go over this with another layer, but this is going really well. So let's just keep moving on to the other side now. It's hard to get underneath the wing. That is something that I've noticed. So inch, inch, inch. Keep it going, keep it going. Until you see an adequate little V. Nail it down, nail it down. Okay, so if it slides, um, oop, oh no, you don't want to let it, f the, the little, the abdomen will dry out and fall down, so you got to lift it up. Um, that's good. That was much easier than the first one. Why did I struggle so bad with the first one, everybody? So um, I don't want anything to curl when it dries out. Um, is that? You know what? It's not perfect, but I don't. I don't even make them to be perfect anymore. I just make them to be like preserved, and they're pretty. And I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. These are a gift to the person who gave me the eggs. Um, shout out, Black Swallowtail Mama. Um. <laughs> follow on Instagram. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I don't need it to be perfect, but I do want it to be in the vicinity of done well, which means that they're nailed down. They're not going to move. Do, 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 do. There's one other spot in the corner here that I want to do. Otherwise, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. This is pretty much fine. 
the way it is, but I think I kind of just want to go overkill with um, the scent flap down there, and then this little Sheila up here. And then those are literally my last two needles. Ha ha ha, I did not plan that, but these are literally my last two needles um, for this board. I have lots of boards. So, male black swallowtail, eastern black swallowtail butterfly. You can tell because of the yellow stripes. Female eastern black swallowtail. You can tell because it's more blue on the bottom. And... Ta-da! So, with that being said, let us change the video feed just a little bit so that I can talk to you guys and show you what the finished product will look like. So, <clears throat> as you can... Oh, man, I kind of liked having the other thing. Oh, well, whatever. We pinned our butterflies, and this was my makeshift hydration chamber just for overnight, but if you have one that's been dry for like a year, you can give it a go. Um, you know, some people have more advanced forms, but I put a little bit of pine salt, sprayed it on. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Hopefully the one that I did this year came out better than this one. There's like literally no V between the wings here. Um, you can't even tell because it's got that. I can open it up. Ta-da! Even though... Oh, yeah, there you go. Aren't these Petri dishes so cool? So, um, again... These butterflies were well taken care of. The the monarchs as well. I raised these little fellas from an egg. Um, it wasn't on my plant. Last year it was on a neighbor's plant. I ran across the street and I followed a monarch and I watched it lay eggs. And then um, I took those eggs and when they hatched I fed them the milkweed. And then uh, as butterflies I fed them... I kept them with my painted ladies, and they didn't really like that. <laughs> but they were all drinking nectar out of my butterfly feeders, and they were hanging out by the light bulb. Um, the swallowtails I actually let out of of the net, and they like to hang out um, on the, the curtains by the window. Um, I learned so much last year how to use sponges to feed them and I feel like this year it's all so different. Um, I've learned so much more since then. Last year we had three swallowtails and nine monarchs and this year we've already got like eight swallowtails and like almost 30 monarchs. So that's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> It'll take about five days. I'll let them dry out for five days, and then I'll take them off the board. Maybe I'll do that with you guys. I'll, I'll take a video of me taking them off the board, and then I'll use my little glue gun. Um, oh, God, if I move this, it's going to make everything fall off the table. My glue gun. <laughs> and that's how I got them to, mo to not move. I put a little dot of glue right in the middle and um, you can probably seal the petri dish but I didn't you know I just I think it's cool that I can still open it um, last year I turned a couple of them into ornaments and I gave them to my mom because she likes Christmas ornaments and it's just that like you know this is kind of like a sanctuary it's a preserve preservation they're endangered. Well, not the painted ladies, but as butterflies, as a species, they're basically endangered. And the whole point was I wanted to see more butterflies outside. So I planted a butterfly garden. And this morning I was hanging out by the milkweed and I, I well, I'm always by the milkweed because it's in my backyard. And I saw a monarch fly over and um, it was laying eggs on the milkweed. So I got closer and closer and then it just kind of started circling around me. Um... 
not to brag, but <laughs> it was a really serene, nice experience, and it just kept going back and forth on the plants, and we had like a good 10-15 minutes of just watching the butterfly, um, and it's nice, so I'm, I'm planting, and again, plant native milkweed, save a monarch, because it's really important to plant host plants, plant dill, especially dill, plant rue, especially rue, definitely, definitely milkweed of all kinds, but especially native milkweed and what are other good ones you know there are so many good ones and it's so easy plant zinnias mexican sunflower normal sunflower there are so many good flowers uh and it's it's really an enriching experience so if you've ever thought about having a garden start with something easy um basil sage mint Ooh, definitely mint that's good i started with mint but yeah, how long is this video? Oh, hey, we're, we're, this is like a 30-minute video. Usually we run on and on and on and on. Is there anything else we want to talk about? I mean, we pinned the video, uh, the butterflies. That probably took a long time. Um, I bet you guys want to see like a five-minute video, but it's a, it's a little artistic process, you know? Do the best you could do, and... Maybe I'll do several of them. Maybe I'll do two males and two females. I don't know. I just, I like giving gifts, um, especially when, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, show me, guys, what you're working on. It doesn't have to be butterflies. You can be doing beetles. You can be doing gymnastics. You can be doing drawing, you painting, or dancing. You play the trumpet. Like, this is an online community, and the internet connects everybody, so... Um, what are you good at? Drag? Do you do makeup? I've done, I've done a nail video. I've done a gardening video. I've done a running video. Um, it doesn't have to be workout. Cooking. We could do cooking. Uh, I want to end this before 30 minutes, but that was a lot of fun and, uh, see you soon. Don't forget to respond with a comment, like, subscribe, hashtag butterflies. And one more time, we're going to show off the work one more time. I can't switch the cameras back. Sorry, oops, but, um, okay, bye, <laughs> love you.